non-belief. Only 81% of Americans believe in God in historic low. According to a newly published Gallup study, belief in God in the USA dropped from 87% in 2017 to 81% in 2021. The 6% dip is the lowest point in Gallup's trend, marking a historic low. This study was first conducted in 1944. In the initial run of the study, Americans, uh, wait, sorry, in the initial run of the study, the lowest point was 94%, with the rest of the results consistently showing that 95% of Americans believe in God. In Gallup's 2022 survey, conservative Americans only had a 1% drop in their, uh, in their belief in God, while belief among liberals dropped 11 percentage points. The belief in the theory of evolution also saw an unprecedented increase in the last five years. According to John Miller, a lead researcher behind that study, one of the reasons Americans do not believe in the theory of evolution is religious fundamentalism. So I know <laughs> Kahlo is saying 81% is still huge. In Australia, it's about 60%. Okay, so yes, 81% is obviously a massive majority. But it is still the largest, the, the lowest dip in belief in America we've ever seen. We're bringing the total number of non-believers or religiously unaffiliated to 30% almost, which is still very large. Um, and it's really exciting in many ways. Oh, yeah. What do you so think about this, Carmen? Okay, so some people are like saying, some people might get confused. They're saying 30%. This shows 19%. Non-belief is different from religiously un unaffiliated you could have you could believe in god but still be religiously unaffiliated those are did i say things. 30 i meant 20 whatever anyways oh okay um all right so no yeah and people are in the live chat are saying oh so you actually did mean non-belief so yeah it's around getting closer to 20 percent. but for america I, I mean i know a lot of you in australia or in europe are are used to higher numbers but this is huge for America. Like America is a religious country. Like, I don't know if you guys realize that this is progress. So yeah, it's still crazy high, especially for a first world country, but it's moving in the right direction. That's the point. It's moving in the right direction. Unless, unless <laughs> we get the schools funded by taxpayers, as we discussed in the, like, maybe, you know, I don't know if what effect that's going to have because um hopefully this trend will continue yes actually this is very important because just because we have a trend it doesn't mean that the trend is continued so don't be too complacent okay they're like oh my god the number of unbelievers or religiously unaffiliated is increasing it could go backwards you know history like it doesn't work like this like if you see a trend it doesn't mean that you know a the, the 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 saying is a trend is a trend until it's not okay you know, you could have a trend and all mm -hmm. of a sudden the trend, the trend could stop and all of a sudden the trend could go backward. So don't be too complacent. This requires your activism. It's not just a function of time. People think that time is the only thing you need for progress. Everything gets better with time. That's not the case. You have had too much of a good time in the past 200 years and you think that's the way everything is going to be. It's not just a function of time. It's a function of time and activism. So don't get too happy we still need to work on this okay like you can That's see an like excellent the point Armin. because last time if you look at the graphs last time there was a dip it actually did go up again i mean like by like one or two percentage points but yeah it did rise again um so yeah i don't know i was i was very excited by this this is now good. here's this the thing good. now that we're growing in numbers we need to actually get freaking politically active mm -hmm. so that you know <laughs> the religious right doesn't rule over our way of life i'm yeah sick and tired of non-religious people being like oh my gosh well like that's what religious people do I'm like no these are your rights god damn it <laughs> secular people yeah. are the most consistent in terms of fighting for not only the rights of themselves but the rights of religious people as well yeah the, it, the atheists are too lazy and they don't get involved and they don't create communities and this is something you have to realize that the um religious people right they know the they see they are seeing this trend okay and they're not gonna just take it they are gonna fight it and they have a very good chance oh, of winning seeing that already they are they are going they're not just coming for you know lgbt stuff 
they're not just coming for women rights stuff. They understand that the way th this, they understand that they need to fight this trend and they know the way is to come for the, for children, right? They understand that taking control over the education of children is going to be the only way that they could undo this, they could reverse this trend. And given how seriously they are taking it and how not very seriously the secular people or the atheists or the religiously un unaffiliated are taking it, they might be successful at reversing this trend. So you need to become, you need to wake up. I hope like this whole, um, you know, pro uh, pro life people winning wakes people up about how these these they shouldn't just accept these things as given we are going backwards in many cases like demographic okay so right now the demographic battle we're winning the demographic battle we're losing the political battle even though we have more people on our side where they're the christians and the muslims and the hindus are winning the political battle but soon the winning of the political battle might turn into them being also the winners on the demographics. Because when they have, when they control all the politics, they will control the schools. And when they control the schools, they will control the trend. And when they control the trend, they will control the demographics. So if you lose the politics, eventually you will also lose the demographic battle. Atheists of America unite! <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below